Hi folks, this is Paul Isley from Rainforest Floor again. Welcome to another edition of our more and more episodes on our website, YouTube, uh, discussions on Tillandsias. Today we're going to talk about Tillandsia ionantha. Many, many forms of Tillandsia ionantha. It is the foundation species all over the world. It grows by the millions in nature. They get collected, they get sold, and uh, I'm going to show you not only that one, but a lot of the different forms that occur and that we've grown over the years here in, uh, here in California. So, to start with, this is the standard Ionantha form that comes from uh, Central America, Guatemala. And this is a single plant that just finished flowering. And this is a mother plant that flowered uh, a few months ago, and these are the two offsets that are coming up off of it. And you can see there's actually pretty good color. With bright light and some humidity, uh, you can actually get pretty good color in a lot of these plants. But normally their color is green. And like many other Tillandsias in the subgenus Tillandsia, they attract hummingbirds to pollinate them. And the hummingbirds are attracted to color, especially red. So these plants, most of them turn bright red when they flower to attract the hummingbirds to pollinate them, and etc., etc. So this is the form from Guatemala. I'm going to go through some other forms in no particular order. And this is a real test even for me because we have a lot of different forms. But here we go. So this is the one from Guatemala. And this one also is from Guatemala. This one is called Rubra in the trade. And you can see this is a, an offset clump of three plants. This is a... Uh, mother plant and offset that's now flowering. So this is Ionantha rubra. It's very similar to the other one, but it, it gets a little more color, a little bit different shape. Now another one that is very rare is called Ionantha operatado. And this one is not particularly colorful, uh, but it has very, very thick leaves that are tight. They grow together strict. Um, oh, and I've got a piece of tilly hanger wire on here too, so uh, don't pay attention to that. This is how we hang it here at the nursery. So, anyway, the, this is an operatado. It gets a beautiful maroon red when it blooms. And the leaves, like I said, are very thick, very tight. It has a very interesting and, and kind of unique shape for an Ionantha. And then we have, uh, this is Tillandsia druid, which is another form of Tillandsia Ionantha. Uh, interestingly, this one does not turn red when it blooms. This turns more of a peach color, and it um, it gets white flowers instead of the uh, the purple flowers that the standard Ionantha gets. So I think this is more of an albino type of, uh, of Tillandsia Ionantha, and it's called Druid in the trade. Another one is called Tillandsia Ionantha Enano, and Enano stays very small grows into a beautiful tight clump, does not get large, and the plant stays small. Enano is Spanish for dwarf, and that's the name of this one. This is a beauty from Mexico. This is called Ionantha stricta, and this one has a kind of unique shape, many, many leaves, sort of a hemispherical, pin cushiony kind of look. And this one has a lot of red color all the time. It's very, very popular because of that. People love color. And uh, this is Ionantha variety stricta. It used to be called Ionantha rosita. And then it was officially described as Ionantha stricta. This one is Ionantha wamalula. It's beautiful color, gets nice stiffer leaves, and uh, not very common in, in the trade. Uh, wamalula is the area of Mexico where it comes from. Then we have the Mexican form of Ionantha. And you'll see these a little later. I think Barry will show you. Uh, we've had them growing for years on rocks. And you can see the, there are different variations, but these are all the standard Mexican Ionantha. They uh, generally get very red when they bloom. Uh, they have a great shape. They're not real common in the trade, but uh, it's a great plant. Here, I got one more for you. Uh, so these are Ionantha Mexicos, is what we call these, Ionantha Mexico. And then, there's a rare one called Ionantha Fat Boy. <laughs> I know, everybody laughs. Fat Boy. Well, Fat Boy's fat. That's why he's Fat Boy. 
It has a very broad base. You can see this is another Mexican form of Ionantha that is different than the normal one, and it has a, like I said, a very broad base to it. So this is an Ionantha uh, uh, margin, elbow marginated form. I take that back. This is a variegated form of Ionantha called um, I, I, we just had a bunch of kids walk into the nursery. They're making a lot of noise. So <laughs> let's take them out for a few minutes and then uh, let me, I'll just finish this and then you guys can go on. So this is a variegated form of Ionantha. Very rare, very beautiful. Wow. It's on the Tilly hanger wire. Uh, actually, these two just flowered and uh, that you can see there is color. And if you can zoom in on this, there is white uh, variegation on the leaves on this one. So cool. this is a variegated form of Tillandsia ionantha. And then there's another one. This is called Predator. This one gets very large. Wow! This is, uh, this is one of my absolute favorites. It's got a kind of a red stripe in the midline of each leaf. And this is a single predator, and this one is one that's uh, turning into a clump. It's very heavy. It probably weighs about a pound and a half. But uh, this is Ionantha predator. Very rare, but also very, very beautiful. So that's one. And similar to that, but different, doesn't have the red midline in the leaf as Ionantha. We call this one differente because it's different. <laughs> and uh, it also gets quite large. It gets very red when it flowers and is rare and beautiful. And another one. This is called Ionantha sumo size white. And this one gets very large, has a wonderful chartreuse color to the leaves. Beautiful. And then when it blooms, it also uh, does not turn red like the Ionantha druid. It does get a tiny bit of a peach color to it but not a lot. It, it more stays like this, and it also has white flowers. So it's an albino form of Ionantha as well. What's great about it is it's a beautiful color, very different. It gets very large, and it's heavy. And it offsets and grows into a clump quickly. So if you want a big ball of Ionantha, then the uh, Ionantha sumo size white is a good way to go. Stunning. So another one is uh, this is Ionantha uh, Fuego, and Ionantha Fuego is uh, not common, but not super rare either. Fuego is the most red of all the Ionantha forms. It has the most red color all year round of all the forms. It, uh, and it gets even brighter red when it's flowering. It's a very, very nice plant. It can also, over time, get to be very large. And another one is called, this is Ionantha Monster. Uh, we don't really know what this one is. It is huge, it's cylindrical, unlike the other ones, which are more hemispherical. It's a beautiful red, and um, you can hang this one upside down. If you've got your Tilly hanger wire, just turn it around, and hang, you can hang it up like this. Paul, is that the one they sometimes call monkey tail, or is it different? No, monkey tail is different. I didn't bring that one out. Um, Next time. There's going to be more forms of Ionantha, but monkey tail is another one. Okay. And in one of these times, we'll do a talk on the hybrids of Ionantha because there's a lot of really nice hybrids. So this is this is the Ionantha monster. Now, this is a small form, very beautiful, round, called Ionantha hazelnut. And in Europe, it's called Hazelnois. But uh, hazelnut. Very compact, the leaves grow together very tightly, has a lot of leaves at the bottom, and it forms like a pine cone, kind of like this. So this is Ionantha hazelnut. And that's different than peanut, right? Which is much different than peanut. Um, I don't have Vestigiata out here today. That's next time. Another next time. One. Somewhat similar shape. Then the last one, oh, here's another, this I just want to show you this. This was another Ionantha fuego, and you can see how red it is, how nice the shape is. So this is just another Fuego. And last, this is Ionantha monstros. Wow! Very rare, and monstros meaning that it has no center to the individual plants. This is a clump that's been growing for a few years, 
And so now uh, there are a number of plants, but there are no center to them. They just It's just a ball of leaves. And very rarely it flowers. There's a gorgeous picture in my book of Vianantha Monstros flowering. The only time I've ever seen one where the whole thing turned brilliant red. This is actually, for me, the second time I've ever seen one flower, and that's today. Uh, I went to bring this down for the uh, for this talk, and lo and behold, it's uh, you can see that it's flowering. It's not all brilliant red, but the other one, I think, was just one plant. This is now a clump a few years later, but uh, maybe the rarest and most interesting form of Vianantha out there. Fantastic. So, we've covered some of the bases today for Tillandsia Vianantha. I hope you've enjoyed this, guys, and... Uh, and everything's available on your website, right? Yeah, most of these, uh, thanks Barry, yeah, most of these are available on the website. Mm -hmm. uh, we do run out of things. Uh, Operatata we run out of a lot. Monstros we run out of. Uh, they're very limited in number, and then when we run out, um, you know, that's it until we get more offsets that come up. We also grow them from seeds, but we don't have seeds of a lot of these rare ones, you know, so. WWW. Yeah, our website, thank you. <laughs> website is rainforestflora.com, rainforestflora.com www.rainforest. I sound like a commercial on the radio, doesn't it? I hate that. <laughs> anyway, www.rainforestflora.com. Bye, guys. See you next time. Thanks, Paul. All right.